Now the cold case cards. In 2018, detectives launched a deck of playing cards to generate new leads in Rhode Island's toughest investigations. And we've been diving into those cases. Tonight, we're going beyond the deck. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now from Central Falls, where detectives are investigating what they believe was a case of mistaken identity. They're now hoping you can help bring a killer to justice. It was about two and a half years ago. 22 year old Christian Huertas Hernandez was walking home from work on this Central Falls street. He was only 200 feet from his front door, so close that his mother heard the gunshots. Christian never made it home, and the person or people responsible for his death have never been caught. It was a rainy Sunday night in February 2018. One of the witnesses said he heard four or five shots in a car peeling his tires and taking off. And they found Christian Huertas or Hernandez, who was 22 at the time, uh, in front of 16 Richardson on the ground with a, with a gunshot wound. A man shot and killed in Central Falls. This was breaking news last night on Eyewitness News at 10. I was in the kitchen and had the news on like always. Brian, the family of Christian Huertas Hernandez tells me he was walking home from work at Price Right last night when he was shot and killed right here on Richardson Street. I couldn't believe it. I was hearing and looking at it, but I could not believe it. And I made it a call his father. And there it was, devastation. Family friend Mary Garcia speaking with us and acting as a translator for Christian's father, Damasa Huertas, on the phone from Puerto Rico. He couldn't believe it. He, it couldn't be his son. 22 year old Christian, remembered by friends and family as talented and smart, a good kid who liked sports and volunteered with local youth. Really, when we found out that he was the victim, we were. Just a shock, too. Detectives like Jeffrey Arujo were determined to find whoever was responsible. We were looking for everything neighbors, witnesses, and everything kept falling out, falling back to he had no relation to being shot. We don't believe he was the intended target. Police scoured surveillance from dozens of cameras in the area and identified a 2000 to 2004 gold or silver infinity as a suspect vehicle. I believe I have a good idea who's involved. I just really need the public's help. Help that Christian's father hopes will finally solve a crime that robbed him of his only son. So please just do the right thing and come forward. Would it help to know at least who was responsible? It will help a little bit, yes, because he's never going to come back, but at least we got justice for him. He didn't die in vain. If you know anything about the murder of Christian Huertas Hernandez, you are urged to call Central Falls Police. For more information on this and other cold cases, you can head to our website, WPRI.com. In Central Falls, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.